Hey everyone, Ray Sawville, RaySawville.com. In today's video, we're going to be discussing something a little bit different and it comes down to Google Ads and Google Analytics certifications and how they can be beneficial to you as a brand new marketer in the field. Now, one thing I wanna start off by saying is that if you're very advanced and if you've ran a bunch of these campaigns, this course may not be extremely beneficial for you. However, if you're trying to dip your toes in the water, trying to learn something new, this can be helpful. Now, there are a lot of nuances throughout Google's training platform, and I would say they do a pretty decent job of at least explaining and letting you know the basic concepts of how everything works all together. Some of the recommendations are a little biased as to what Google wants you to do, but that's where some of the critical thinking pieces are going to come in and you have to kind of think for yourself as a marketer what makes a lot of sense. But with uh, you know help of some professionals out in the space, if you stick around on this channel, go to Twitter, you can ask opinions of a ton of professionals in the space. So just one thing I wanted to throw out there before we dive into this into more detail. So if that sounds something interesting to you, stick around and let's dive in. So I'm sure one of the first things you're wondering is, is this certification going to be worthwhile? And I'm gonna say, yes, it's gonna all depend on what you wanna put into it, what you wanna learn, what you're looking to achieve out of this. But as someone who is brand new to marketing, if you have never done a Google ad, YouTube, whatever type of campaign before, even basic Google Analytics, you will gain something from this, whether it's a brand new perspective or an entire idea altogether. So I would recommend taking the time, whether it's going through the entire course which can last between two to eight hours or just taking a couple segments of these courses, which can last about 30 minutes or so, you will learn something new. So definitely I would say it is worth it, especially if you are brand new in the space, you're gonna learn something. So if you are interested in doing that, there will be a link down in the description. If you just Google for Google Ads certification, you're gonna notice that in this help article, there's a link to Skillshop and Skillshop is essentially Google's learning management, um, like learning platform where you're able to log in and see all of the different courses that they have available. So the ones that we're going to be focusing on today is primarily Google Ads, YouTube, and potentially some Google Analytics information. Um, however, there's a ton of other things in here like um, some Android stuff, some GMB stuff. So th th there's a lot of different things in here, but if you hop into something like Google Ads, in my opinion, they do a decent job explaining the fundamentals of each platform. If you don't understand the, the basics of Google Ads search, display, video shopping, this is gonna do a decent job in breaking it down and letting you know, here's what these campaigns are, here are some basic strategies, and here's how campaigns can be optimized in a general way. Now, one thing that I've noticed, and I know a lot of other marketers out in the space have noticed, is that Google is really pushing automation. Obviously, they're trying to get more people to spend on their platform, and it may not always be in your best case to take every single recommendation that Google puts out there. You'll notice that there's a lot and a lot of pushing of uh, something called smart bidding, which we'll be talking about a lot more down the line, but Smart bidding essentially takes all of these real-time bidding factors and then Google's algorithm will adjust your bid based on the probability of conversion. So Google's taking, I wanna say millions, millions of indicators deciding if that user is going to convert and then adjusting your bid appropriately if they feel that there's conversion potential. Now, there's just a lot of things that humans can't do and it's a lot to kind of hand the keys over to Google and be like, hey Google, help me out. So. A lot of it is geared towards that. Um, so some of those recommendations, it's mainly gonna involve testing once you get there down the line. But I would say if you're learning from scratch and a lot of that was nonsense and didn't make a lot of sense to you, that's okay. But I would say take smart bidding and keyword match types with a grain of salt from Google. So smart bidding, keyword match types, along with something called optimization score. Um, in one of my other videos, I talked about this a little bit, but Google's Opti score or optimization score is essentially trying to get your account up to Google's best practices, meaning that they are pushing things like smart bidding to push up your optimization score as much as possible. So keep, keep an eye out for those three things. And as long as you're doing that, um, you won't be able to mess up your campaigns too much, but this is more, more information driven. And I would recommend 
going alongside something like this, along with consulting a bunch of other YouTube content or things like Udemy, Skillshare. There's a bunch of courses available out there that I would recommend you take a look at because there's a ton of information out there. But with all that said, where I would recommend you go is go to Skillshop and then go to the Google Ads certification section. And then you can really start learning about every single channel on here from display to video to app creation to all that sort of stuff. But if you're looking to start somewhere from scratch and your knowledge level is pretty low, that's okay, everybody started there, right? So I would recommend starting off with Google Ads Search because this is going to be where 70 to 80% of your conversion potential is going to be at least right away. So if you focus on the search certification, this is going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. So make sure you start here because they're going to explain some pretty basic principles when it comes down to account structure, what are negative keywords, what are match types. But again, they are going to be push, push, pushing with things like smart bidding and optimization score. So take those with a grain of salt um, because they're they're going to uh, want they're going to want you to push those as much as possible. So. But when it comes down to the basics, they do a really, really good job of it. So definitely make sure you take a look at that. And I would make sure that you do things like search, display, video, and then even measurement at some point, depending on how big of campaigns you're running. Because once you get into things like attribution, I have another video on my channel, which there'll be a link somewhere on the screen about attribution. You definitely want to make sure that you're considering measurement as well when you get down the line. But as a brand new marketer, brand new to Google ads, Definitely start with something like search, display, and then video. You'll be in great hands. Um, the final thing I would recommend that you take a look at would be some of these Google Analytics Academy, because once you understand how to interpret some of the data that's inside Google Analytics outside of bouncing back and forth between some of the basic sections like audience behavior, all that sort of stuff, you'll be able to know like actionable insights from the data along with looking at custom segments as well. So. I'll have more videos down the line diving at Google Analytics, but this is kind of like the uh, the bonus section that you want to make sure you're taking a look at that's outside of paid, but I, I'm inside Google Analytics every single day getting additional data to help run more impactful marketing campaigns. So I would definitely make sure to not pass this by and take a look at it and make sure you get certified in this section as well. So definitely consider it. So there you have it. Is the certification worthwhile? Again, I'm really going to say yes. I'm a strong believer in this education piece because it helps lay that basic foundation and groundwork that you're going to need if you are working inside these platforms. But in my opinion, at the end of the day, nothing beats experience. You wanna make sure that you run some of these campaigns on your own. I was, I was talking to a colleague the other day and I was thinking back to one of the very first campaigns that I run and ugh, I, I cringe at it nowadays when I see those types of campaigns, but it helped me learn a lot because I started off building campaigns from the ground up in the platform, starting off and just learning by scraping my knees and just figuring things out by myself. So in my opinion, having that type of, of experience and getting your hands dirty is in my opinion, the way to go because that's the one of the best ways to learn, obviously. So there's a ton of great content around on the web. I'm gonna have a series out in the future where I go through my best practices when setting up a campaign from scratch. Let me know if that's something of interest, um, if you would like to see it as well, and definitely make sure to have a link somewhere once that's complete. I would say it will be done in the next couple weeks or so, where it'll be a couple part series where I go over creating a campaign all the way from step one. So it'll take you from keyword research to planning to executing and launching. So that's one of the things that I think will be very beneficial down the line, but especially during these uncertain times right now, brushing up on your certification, it, it's definitely a benefit. Some skills, some positions require these skills to, to start and having your certification is almost required for some of these instances. So. Whether that's correct or not, uh, I'll leave that out there, but it definitely does not hurt to have this certification and test it out, even though some of it may be biased to Google's best practices. But 
at the end of the day, it's all what you make out of it. So let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments if I missed anything. If you want to see that additional uh, from launch series for launching a Google Ads campaign, let me know below in the comments. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. And again, I think the certifications are worthwhile. I hope you do too. Thanks. See ya.